Hi everyone and welcome to my channel. My name is Janet Cabrera and today I will be showing you how to record a prepayment in QuickBooks Online. To record a prepayment in QuickBooks, you will have to complete two steps. The first step is to record a prepayment through a sales receipt. However, this won't be an ordinary sales receipt since we will have to arrange it to record a liability instead of using a product or service item as it would be done in a regular sale transaction. Now, why a liability? Well, this is because we have not provided the service yet, so we owe that money to the customer. In the second step, we will create an estimate. And basically, I like to create an estimate at the same time we record the prepayment as a reminder to invoice in the future and to have it arranged also to offset the prepayment once we invoice. Let's start then with the first step, which is receiving the payment. Click on the plus symbol and select sales receipts. Once you're there, select the customer, choose the date, input a sales receipt number. If you have QuickBooks set up to automatically generate this number, you can skip this part and go directly to the payment method. Choose the payment method if it is cash, check or credit card input a reference number select the account to make the deposit to in this case you will always deposit to your bank unless you are paid via check in which case you will use the undeposited funds account then under the product service tab you will select the account destined to receive prepayments if you don't have it set up already click add select service then choose a name for the prepayment in this case we will call it customer prepayments. Skip all and go directly to select the income accounts. And here we will link this item to a liability. Click on the drop down arrow and click add. In the account type and detail type, select other current liability. You can use the same name as the service item, which is customer prepayment. then save and close and save and close again now we have our service item for customer prepayment set up every time you receive a prepayment you will select this service item and follow the two steps we are discussing today next we have the description so write what you believe best describe the transaction you are completing set the quantity rate and amount one thing that I would like to point out is that the item that we just created has to be non-taxable. So just in case that you have set up your sales tax, just make sure that this item is non-taxable. Whenever you're done inputting all the information, just click save and close. Now we will create the estimate. Let's go and click on the plus symbol and select estimate. Choose the customer. Right below the customer, change the estimate status to accepted. Next, select the date and key in an estimate number, if not automatically generated by the system. Then, in the first line, you will select the customer prepayment item. Write the same description as in the sales receipt and put zero in the amount box. Now, on the second line, you will select an item for the actual sale. For example, if your business is for IT services and the services you are selling are for web design, then select the item for this type of service. Remember that all services and product items will be linked to an income account, except for the customer prepayment, which is linked to a liability. So on the second line, we want to select an item that will hit the income account once we invoice. Write the same description as for the customer prepayment item and put the amount of fund received in the amount box. Save and close. Note the estimates don't have any effect in your financials. We are just creating the estimate to have everything set up so that when the invoicing time comes, you don't have to remember that there was a prepayment. Once you're ready to invoice, go to sales customers, select the customer, then click the create invoice button and select remaining total of all lines and click create invoice. 
you will notice that this was a prepayment transaction. So you will change the amount for the customer prepayment line from zero dollars to the same amount displayed on the second line item, but this time a negative. The goal is to invoice at zero since we had already collected funds but have not recognized the sale yet. Click on save and close. These two steps will affect your accounts as follow. When you create the sales receipt and you use the item created for prepayments, your cash and liability will increase. Notice that when you create the estimate, no account is affected. However, as soon as you invoice that estimate, your liability will decrease since you are using a negative number and therefore it will offset the previous transaction and your sales will increase. This is how you record a customer prepayment in QuickBooks Online. Comment below if you have any questions and don't forget to subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.